Welcome back to Callie's Playhouse. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys some beginner gymnastics moves if you guys are just starting gymnastics. So let's get into the video. Woo! I'm gonna show you guys how to do a cartwheel in steps. So let's get into it. Okay, for the starting, we're just gonna go up and we're gonna practice kicking up to the side. So you're just gonna keep on doing that until you get really like comfortable with it. Just keep on practicing that. Eventually you should be able to kick like with one foot up, just like that. So keep on practicing that and eventually you will just get really comfortable with that. You will be able to go to the side a little bit and hold it like a handstand. After you do practice with that, you should be able to do a full cartwheel just like that. Keep on practicing all the steps. You can move on to the next move if you already have the cartwheel. All right guys, for the next move is a round off. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a cartwheel, but just when like you're about to land, you put your feet together. So let's try that move. So you're gonna go in whatever foot feels comfortable. You're gonna do the cartwheel, put your legs together, but if you guys can't do that fully. What you could do is just practice with like a different foot landing. That will help you to keep your feet together. And if you can't, what you could do is just try to hold a handstand for one second. That will help you keep your, keep your feet together. So now, try to do that all together and try to do your round off just like this. Like that and now let's move on to the next move all right guys for the next move is a front walkover so a front walkover it's kind of like so you don't really walk it's just when you go forward kind of in a bridge so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this right now all right guys so for the starting put your foot out like you're comfortable with and you're just gonna practice doing that just like for the cartwheel and you'll pick up kind of in a handstand form. Keep on practicing that. And then once you get like really comfortable with that, you'll start to hold it. Hold it for a little bit, like one, two, three. You can count to three if that is how much you want like to hold it for. Just hold it and then you'll go forward. So if you don't know what a bridge is, it's basically you could go down like this, push up, go like this, and you could come back down. So you could just do that. Now you're gonna go forward and down. You don't have to kick back up. If you got that and practice that more, all you have to do is now practice going into your bridge like this. You don't have to go up like that, and then try to go up. That will help you getting up in the front walkover. Once you finally have the front walkover, it'll look like this. Ta-da! And now, let's move on to the next move. All right guys, it's the next move time. For this one, we're gonna do a back walkover and maybe a tiny, tiny bit tricky, but we are gonna learn this really fast. But if you need some time, you could watch this video how many times you want. So, let's get started. So for the starting, we're just gonna practice this. If you want to start, you could practice going back like that. But if you already know how to do a bridge like this, it should be pretty easy for you. You're gonna have your foot out and go like this. Then, if you know how to get up, you're gonna get up like that. So the foot is pretty much how you're gonna walk over it. But if you know how to kick over, it looks like this. That's what a kick over it looks like. They're pretty much the same, it's just a back walk over, you do it all together. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like first. And you have to remember, it's the hand strength that you need. You have to keep your arms strong, so you could just practice going like that. 
And then, the thing that you should be doing now is just practice that. That will help you kick over with the bridge. And then, eventually, you should get it like this. <laughs> on to two more moves. So let's get it. Pew. All right, guys. We're on to the next move, and this move is a one-handed cartwheel. So I know I taught you guys how to do a cartwheel, and now it's a one-handed. So let's get started with the video. With the video, well, um, let's not, okay. You're gonna have your hand behind your back, or you can just keep it down. You're gonna practice going like this. It may be a little bit hard, because you probably never did this before, but if you did, like, pick up with one hand, it's actually pretty easy, so try doing that with the foot that you're comfortable with. Just like that. It's okay if you keep your hand out because it's kind of hard. So you can practice going like, like a normal cartwheel. And you can practice doing the cartwheel and just pulling your hand back like this. Just like that. It's pretty easy. Eventually, once you like keep on practicing that, you should be able to do a one-handed cartwheel. It's kind of hard, but you got this. Now let's move on to the last one. Pew! All right guys, for the next move is a handstand. You guys might be like, oh my gosh, this is so tricky, but once you get the hang of it, you will actually be able to do the handstand. So, let's start. You're gonna do the foot that you're most comfortable with. And then you're gonna kick. So that is one of the steps, but if you already know how to like put your feet up into the air and hold your hands down, it looks like this. That's just a short handstand. But if you want to hold the handstand for long, you have to squeeze your tummy in really hard. You don't have to go too hard. And also you have to squeeze your butt in a tiny bit. So it will look like this. Just like that, and if you already know how to do the handstand like this, you can try to do your handstand with legs split. So, it looks like that. It's not that hard, but once you have the grip and you have all the things to squeeze your tummy and stuff like that, you will be able to do it like that. So, guys, Fortunately, that's the end of the video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.